Hey guys, love to rip here, FPV. Um, here's a quick shot of my alien after I took that dump in the puddle. I don't see any damage really, just uh, my ego I guess. A little bit of mud on the uh, GoPro session frame, on the lens, no big deal. I put the lens protector on, so that's good. Um, other than that, it was a little wet, so I took a can of air, sprayed it out, and uh, I'm just going to let it air dry. So far it looks fine. Uh, I did a little test spin, everything came up okay. Nothing busted, just a little dirty. No big deal. I'm going to try and take it out for a spin maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'll give you a quick tour in the background. Here is my Stingy V1. Um, I tried to use it today, but I had some video issues. So I'll have to take a look at that and see why it's not connecting. Other than that, it's a pretty stable bird. Uh, I like, really like that frame. I'll give you a quick tour of my wall. It's what I call my drone wall. Uh, hang everything up here. These are my HDOs, Fat Sharks, my main goggles, along with my main transmitter, the FR Sky Horus X10S. Great transmitter. My backup, which is 8D3s, and my other Tyrannus radio. Um, I just use it as a backup, really. That's my DX9. I primarily use that on my indoor quads. Um, I don't like the stick length on them, to be honest. I have no idea what this quad is with the red props. I can't remember. I think this one's a, is it a baby hawk. Again, some of these I can't even remember what they are. A uh, bunch of spare props for little folks. That one I think everybody knows by Blade. This one I don't remember. Might be Ishin. Can't remember again. One tiny Inductrix that really got me started inside. Uh, this is my reverb. It's the one I crashed last weekend, so I'm just going to fix the frame on the camera. That's the Chameleon. Don't usually fly that one too much. More of a backup, I guess. Um, still a good bird, though. And here we have our Emacs Tiny Hawk. This is the uh, Beta. Then we have the Inductrix Brushless and then the brushed ones. And these are the guys I really use in the doors for the most part. Then I have a few batteries sitting here in storage. And for those of you that recognize the Sony Walkman, yes, that's how old I am. Uh, one of my Futaba 14SGs. I uh, use that for my TBS Pro, <laughs> which is way up on the top shelf. Way up there. I haven't flown that probably in two years, but uh, that was my main bird to get started, really. It has a NASA V2 flight controller on it. Those are my Phantoms, Phantom 4 and Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, I use it for a commercial job that I do for a construction company, controllers. And this is the big boy. Uh, I haven't flown this in a year, but uh, that's the DJI S1000. One heavy bird. Uh, you also use the Futaba 14 with that guy too. Carries a full DSL, um, DSLR camera, sorry. I'm actually going to sell that guy this summer. I think I don't fly it anymore. And then just some batteries I'm charging up here. Uh, smaller batteries, little drones, of course. Lots of those. Go through those quite quick. That's my GoPro shelf with TPU behind it. Keep everything up there. Uh, just out of the way, neat and tidy. Um, my main charger is the high tech. It's a X4 AC. Charges four at once, which is really why I like it. And then I've got this Gropner, which charges two of them at once. So that lets me charge six batteries at a time. That's my soldering station. Great little unit. Has a built-in heat gun, so it comes really handy for using it on all the heat shrink. And this is uh, just my laptop where I do all the video editing. And then up top, where I keep all my spur props. Lots of those. Uh, I'm an HQ guy. I started off with a couple of other props, but that's my main one. Got some spare motors up there and parts that I keep handy. Batteries. My junk food shelf, of course. And then uh, more props down here. Whole pack of HQs. Uh, I prefer the HQs. I've had a lot of um, luck with them. Fairly durable. Um, I was doing racecraft. But... So anyway, that's the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Um, if you want me to expand on any of these, I'd be happy to. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.